morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Kadeet. I'm going to make this as brief as possible, but it's real important that I talk about this, and especially with um people that, and the naysayers and stuff, that people that got negative stuff to say about um, Grandmaster J. And the NFAC. Okay. So, first of all, what I have to say to y'all is this Grandmaster J and I, and I say an I, only because we're at an age now where um, we've seen a lot. And we've seen pretty much if we've been involved with military or if we've been involved in corporate, anything that you've been involved with at this point in your life, no matter how much you worked it, and if you got good common sense, you should be able to make an assessment about what needs to be done, how to get out of it, um, what it takes. You should have some expertise in whatever it is that you're talking about. So I saw Jam Master, um, Grandmaster J do an interview. Um, a lot of people are, are just so, um, they just done with him and are insulted by the very notion of a black militia. But don't forget, these are people who have never seen anything like the deacons for defense. And just for all of y'all who don't know, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Mike Mc, Alderman Mike McGee Sr., not Mike McGee Jr., started a black militia here when he was a politician. And if, for those of y'all who know Annette Polly Williams, who started the school choice, who was, I believe, honored by Richard Nixon or whatever. She was part of the militia. Doris Green, I'm giving all y'all a shout out. Um, and the notion of a black militia and some form of uh, um, uh, 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 arm of protection for the black community has always been Always. The Black Panthers was an evolution of that. And see, the sad part about it is y'all don't know history. So when Jam Master J say, I'm almost 60 years old, and I get up here and I tell you I'm 61, we cut from the same cloth. And a lot of y'all are so used to being seduced by, in um, uh, like I said before, people intellectually masturbating you that when somebody called the arm to action because they didn't seen enough and they're disciplined and they're organized and they have an agenda and a plan y'all afraid of that you'd much rather deal with people like Tariq Nasheed you'd rather deal with brother Polite and I'm almost called them out or brother um uh uh, uh Umar Johnson Y'all rather just pay your money and let them bend over and use a uh, a tub of Vaseline on y'all. That's what most of y'all are accustomed to, and you love it. You love it. Now, all y'all keyboard gangsters and, and they come around because somebody's speaking something different who don't want your donations, who ain't asked you to go to their GoFundMe. And y'all worried about them. They agents. Everybody, after 60 years, you done got a life. I had a life in politics. I was a civil servant. I was an inspector. Okay? I mean, being around for this long, we've all been in and out of the establishment. Matter of fact, most of us my age have the mindset like the spook that sat by the door. Not like y'all. We don't have that mindset. So if you see us in those type of settings, either we all the way sold out 
or we're trying to get whatever information that we can get to bring it back to our people to make them more whole. And for those, for y'all blunt babies that don't understand that, it's a travesty. One, and I know Willie Lynch was a myth, but one of the greatest things they said that he said, he said, that, don't worry about us. Don't worry about black people if you implement all these things I'm telling you about here on this Jamestown in the river. Because if you do what I'm telling you to do, they will be perpetually miserable. They won't know they ass from a hole in the ground. We'll bring them a platter full of diamonds and they'll reject it and take the, the platter full of shit. That's how that will be the manifestation of the abuse. That we're going to put on these damn people. So it's for nothing else. For nothing else. You always can change your mind. But for you to be afraid to get behind. And to stand up for a group. And for anybody that is defending your right to be a human being. The way America says that you can. Y'all got a problem with that? Look up malicious. Grandmaster J is not the first one. Please look up Mike McGee Sr. and the black militia in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mike McGee the Sr. came on Jerry Springer. He bust the Ku Klux Klan man in the mouth. He's still paying for that to this day. It made national. He came on Geraldo with the black militia. I'm part of that energy. That's why I could cry when I seen the brothers. That's why I was so overtaken with emotion. And I'm not that emotional of a person, but I was overtaken with emotion to see it. Because that visual, that visual represents a lot, especially for our babies growing up. And it's sad to keep on seeing us on the receiving end of getting our ass kicked and beat. And all we're going to do is run up and sing and pray and talk about we shall overcome. Anybody got time for that? Anybody got time for that no more? I mean, really. At 61, I thought we'd really be a lot further in terms of race than we are now. I can't believe it. We going back. But y'all reject um, um, Grandmaster J, but you don't have no blueprints or nothing but to sit back and intellectually masturbate somebody. Ain't nobody got time for that either. So if you ain't got nothing good to say, you should shut your mouth and just just see what the end going to be. Shut up and see how it play out. But all you fake policemen and all you MAGA hat wearing and you ignorant uh, 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 moolies. Mule Malians, who will sit there and have something negative to say, as opposed to taking advice from what your grandmama said and said, honey, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. There comes a time when you should listen to that, those words of wisdom. That's a truth postulate that you should be listening to right now, especially if you're a black person. If you ain't got nothing good to say about the NAAC, don't say nothing at all. Because never have you seen nothing like it. Shut your mouth lying. And the only damn thing you can do is call them agents. The only, most of y'all wouldn't even know a damn agent if you tripped over it. Trust me. Y'all wouldn't know an agent if you tripped over them. Them just words y'all heard. Y'all throw them around like y'all know something. You don't know shit. 
excuse my language, but I just got to make it plain. Make it plain. That's what Malcolm would say. Now, I don't want to swear no more, and I don't want to get angry anymore about the disrespect that I see coming from a lot of y'all from it, about in fact. And y'all have a right to your own opinion. I'm not trying to change that. But if you black, as far as I'm concerned, you. I'm sad. You really are. Keep giving your money away. Keep giving your money away to the real narcissists that make a fool out of you. They don't show you nothing tangible, but but give you a CD and a feel good um lecture, and you ready to bust hell wide open with they GoFundMe. Y'all, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go, but that's exactly what I feel about it. And I had to make this point because I mean it. You don't got nothing good to say. How about just shut your mouth and let the whole thing play out the way it's supposed to? You know, you got some people in this community, no matter what they bring you, you like I said, you're cutting off the nose to spite your face. If somebody handed you freedom on a silver platter, platter you were rejected. Because your eyes can't know, don't know what freedom smells like. You don't know what it tastes like. And you're scared to figure it out. I might be wrong. See y'all? But that's all right. Tell me how you feel about it. Leave your comment. But I believe you should shut your mouth if you ain't got nothing good to say. We at a time now, if ain't nobody going to, this United States government ain't defending us. If we are to defend ourselves, damn it, let's do it. It's our constitutional right to defend ourselves. We don't even have normal responses anymore to anything. It's not normal to take this much abuse and just watch yourself die slowly. And don't never hit back. Or get away from the threat. That being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My peace.